the geographical distribution of this parasite is worldwide but common in tropical and subtropical areas it has two forms one is the vegetative form and the other one is the cystic form of the parasite the ve <coughs> vegetative form lives mucosal and submucosal layers of the large intestine of man whereas the cystic form of the parasite is found or lives in the lumen of the large intestine of man okay jo active motile stage hoti hai vegetative bhi kehte hain isko trophozoite kehte hain isko motile form bhi kehte hain it is seen in the submucosal mucosal and submucosal layers of the large intestine of man or that is present in the lumen of the large intestine of a morphology society it has an amoebaid appearance usually measures between 15 meters and diameter more in the sense mabia the organism has a single nucleus with a distinctive small central karyosome this is a dotted structure within the nucleus the nuclear chromatin is evenly distributed along the periphery of the nucleus अब इसमें से बेहतर प्रोफोसाइट में जो साइज है वो आपको याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है कि कितना 15 टू 30 है ये कितना जो इम्पोर्टेंस है वो क्या है कि उसमें एक सिंगल न्यूक्लियस होगा और उसके दरमियान में एक डॉटेड स्ट्रक्चर होगा विच इज नोन एज ए जो न्यूक्लियर मटेरियल है ये पेरीफ्री ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस पे डिपॉजिटेड होता है form of dots it has a fine granular endoplasm which may contain ingested red blood cells the trophozoite has no definite shape because it is continuously throwing out pseudopodia in various directions theek okay. hai जो एंडोप्लाज्म है अमीबा का इट इज ग्रैंड एंड इन द एंडोप्लाज्म अलोंग विद द फूड वैक्यूल्स यू मे फाइंड इंजेस्टेड रेड ब्लड सेल्स बिकॉज आगे चल के जब पैथोजेनिसिटी करेंगे तो उसमें आपको पता चलेगा कि इट इज पैथोजेनिक टू मैन तो इट इन गल्फ्स द रेड ब्लड सेल्स और डेफिनेशन किस वजह से नहीं है क्योंकि मुख्तलिफ डायरेक्शन मूव कर रहा होता है विद द हेल्प ऑफ सूड फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शन बेटा को परेशानी है तो बताइए यू कैन सी on the right side you can see a, the nucleus of the parasite which is pinkish in color in this particular diagram and in the central it has a karyosome which is a dotted structure and the chromatin material is present on the periphery of the nucleus it has a granular endoplasm <clears throat> and on the left side you can see the pseudopodia the most of the pictures are retrieved from various tissues and stools showing the presence of the parasite may have the extent of the parasite my nucleus bhi nazar aa raha hai aur engulf 
रेड रेड जो है दिस आर एनगल्फ रेड ब्लड सेल्स स्टूल की पिक्चर है एंड यू कैन सी द नंबर ऑफ आई मीन द प्रेजेंट इन the morphology of the cysts the cysts are spherical with a refractile wall the cytoplasm contains 1 to 4 nuclei with the central cerium and evenly distributed peripheral chromatin that means that the cysts they are spherical in shape they have a refractile wall the nuclear characters are same as those For the trophozoite form, the cyst begins as a uninucleated body, but soon, by binary fusion, develops into a mature cyst, which has four nuclei. Initially, cyst you have, us me, one nucleus will be. Binary fusion se uske do banenge, or then further binary fusion se, wo char nuclei banenge. Jo mo. <coughs> जो मेच्योर सिस्ट है और इन्फेक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ दिस सिस्ट है इट कॉन्टेन्स फोर न्यूक्लिया नो इन दर्ली स्टेज ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस सिस्ट डिसाइड प्लान शोज टू स्ट्रक्चर वन इज द क्रोमाटाइड बॉडीज also known as chromidal bars and these are refractile bars with round ends and they range between 1 to 4 in number and they measure from 1/2 to 2/3 of the diameter of the cyst chromatide bodies usme present honge which ends or round ends ke important hai importance hai when we differentiate to differentiate Antamoeba histolytica from Antamoeba coli. Coli me jo hai, the chromidal bars usme bhi present hoti hai. Maru usme jo hai, rough edges hote hai, splintered edges hote hai. Usme round nahi hote. To ye bhi in dono ko differentiate karte hai. Wad jab aap microscopy kar rahe ho ya diagnosis ke liye aap slide dekh rahe ho. So the chromatide bodies, these are refractile bars and they have round ends. and these refractile bodies range between 1 to 4 in number and they measure from 1/2 to 2/3 of the diameter of the cyst then there is another structure present in the cyst it is a round structure which is known as a glycogen mass and when you stain this tool slide with ugol iodine it appears brown in color ये स्लाइड के नीचे मेंशन किया हुआ है एज दिस सिस्ट मैच्योर्स फ्रॉम यूनिन्यूक्लियटेड टू पॉलीन्यूक्लियटेड बॉडी दिस स्ट्रक्चर्स डिसअपीयर द क्रोमाटाइड बॉडीज एज वेल एज द ग्लाइकोजन मैस दे डिसअपीयर एज दिस सिस्ट मैच्योर्स द मैच्योर इज विदाउट दिस स्ट्रक्चर्स उसमें सिर्फ चार ये तो पिक्चर में आप देख लें फर्स्ट इज हैविंग वन न्यूक्लियाई अलॉन्ग विद ग्लाइकोजन मैस एंड द क्रोमाटाइड बॉडीज ब्राउन इन कलर देन इन द सेकंड ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ इट द न्यूक्लियस हैज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू एंड इन द लोअर पिक्चर इट हैज डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर so the mature cyst it has four nuclei but there is no chromatide body or glycogen mass present in the cyst which has four nuclei yeah we can see on pictures this one cyst mein aap nucleus bhi nazar aa raha hai
इस पिक्चर में आप देख सकते हैं कि मल्टीपल न्यूक्लियस नजर आते हैं मगर जैसे जैसे ही आप आपका फाइन जो स्क्रू है माइक्रोस्कोप का फाइन फोकसिंग स्क्रू उसको फॉरवर्ड और बैकवर्ड मूव करें तो फिर ये आपको न्यू न्यूक्लियर क्लियर नजर आएंगे नंबर ऑफ जैसे इस पिक्चर में एक उसमें फील्ड मतबा नहीं नजर आते process of conversion of the, and ancestration is the process of conversion of the trophozyte to the cystic form so the cyst is resistant to the gastric juices it passes down, is down into the small intestine ancestration occurs and and four amoeba they are released to or it gives rise to four amoebae soon by binary fusion these four nuclei uh, <clears throat> these four amoebae they result in in two daughter amoebae and these eight daughter amoebae they are actively and they soon move down to the large intestine so the better the सिस में चार न्यूक्लिया हैं एक्सेस्टेशन होगी तो चार अमीबे फॉर्म होंगे फिर बाइनरी फिजन होगी उनकी तो उसमें से आठ यंग अमीबे डेवलप होंगे और ये एक्टिवली मोटाइल होते हैं ये अपने उसमें हेल्प से लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन में मूव कर जाते हैं वहाँ चले जाते हैं एंड बरी दम सेल्स इन द्यूकोज लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन of man now here in the large intestine majority of the organisms they pass out of the body with the feces but some of them they attach to invaded tissue and some of them which remain in the lumen of the large intestine they insist ancestration occurs and after maturation they are passed to feces or they are passed out with the feces small intestine se large intestine mein aayenge wahan se majority jo hai wo feces ke sath pass ho jati hai thode se jo hai wo bari <coughs> mucosal layer mein invade karte hain aur kuch jo hai wo dobara se cystic form mein convert ho jate hain and in the case antimiba spirit mechanisms and cyst and after mature maturation of pass through with the feces there is no intermediate host in case of that host is this man is तो देख सकते हैं कि लाइफ साइकिल उसकी सब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेजेशन ऑफ सिस एक्सेस्टेशन अकर्स इन द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन गॉडेड सिस इनटू फोर देन एट ट्रोफोजाइट्स देन ट्रोफोजाइट्स मूव टू कॉलोनाइज द कोलन अकर एंड द मैच्योर सिस आफ्टर अटेनिंग द मैच्योरिटी द सिस आर excreted in the feces and again from the soil through contaminated food or hands they <coughs> invade another host
Now the pathogenic effects of pandemic. Now all the pathogenic conditions which are produced by antimicrobial are termed as amoebiasis. It can be intestinal amoebiasis, tick amoebiasis, or pulmonary amoebiasis. Now, jahan jahan bhi antimicrobial tarke jo bhi condition produce karega, it is known as amoebiasis. The primary site of infection is the large sign, which is the initial site of location of the parasite. And secondary infections may occur in liver, lungs, brain, etc. Now the primary infection Infection by antimicrobial occurs by, by ingestion of mature cysts. Exestation occurs in the small intestine, and the trophozytes are released, migrate to the large intestine. Many of them they are excreted, but some multiply by nutrition, and they may bury themselves in the crypts of Liber Cohen present in the large intestine. The crypts of Schleiber Cohen of histology may cut to the large intestine histology. They are in picture they have a picture of the bluish area that is of the large intestine or the intestinal crypts and your depth of niche of liver cone. Mucosal jujak and niche cavity banata. That cavity is known as the crypts of liver cone. So the amoebae gather in those crypts and then they produce toxins attached to the mucosa and produce cytolytic enzymes like cysteine proteases and toxins combining with pressure they damage the mucosal layer on the muscularis mucosae and cause a bridge and these abrasions they bleed they get in crypts of the cone they produce certain enzymes they also produce certain toxins. The, the enzymes plus toxins, the effect of the enzymes plus toxins come with the pressure, damages the mucosal layer. But the liberated toxins activation of the intestine leads to amoebic, amoebic dysentery. And this amoebic dysentery is the stools which are mixed with mucus and blood used from these abrasions. Dysentery is that the diarrhea which contains blood is known as dysentery, and without blood is diarrhea. Now, further, this process during the amoebic dysentery by the help of toxins and proteic enzymes, some of the amoeba may also penetrate into this. Damage the layer ko, se, they may penetrate into this sub mucosa. Sub may penetrate. Hai. Settle on the process chalega. They release proteolytic enzymes plus toxins, and these proteolytic enzymes and toxins will destroy the adjacent tissue. 
of the submucosa. In the submucosa, they multiply and destroy the adjacent tissue and form small abscesses. These abscesses ultimately break on the mucosal surface to produce ulcers which are flask shaped on transection. Therefore, they are termed as flask shaped ulcers or bomb. In this submucosa, multiplication of amoeba takes place, further multiplication of amoeba takes place, they produce toxins and they cause the formation of small abscesses in the small intestine. Obvious abscess ultimately grow it breaks on the mucosal surface. Deeply because muscularis hard the easiest way to escape for the passes on the mucosal surface. So they break up on the mucosal surface because area shape of a flask. Therefore, they are termed as flask shaped ulcers and they are also known as moderators. ये आप देख सकते हैं कि मुकोजल सरफेस पे एब्सेसेस नीचे बनी हुई हैं और वो बस्ट कर रही हैं ऑन द मुकोजल ऑफ द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन सेक्शन ऑफ द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन मार्टिक सेक्शन छोटे 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 एब्सेसेस बनी हुई हैं इट्स ब्रेक ऑन द मुकोजल सरफेस ये बलर की जो है पिकेश ब्राउन And now when the conditions are not favorable for the parasite, they are discharged into the lumen of the large intestine where encystation occurs and they change into the cyst form and these they give rise to the chronic stage of the infection. And ultimately these cysts are passed out in the stools. Complications can cause kar sakta frequent dysentery, necrotic mucosa, and abdominal pain. And in chronic conditions, recurrent episodes of dysentery with blood and mucus in the feces with intervening gastrointestinal disturbances and constipation. Then formation of intestines are due to enzymatic degradation of the tissue as already discussed. The infection may result in appendicitis, perforation, stricture of the formation of pseudopolyps and amoebomas. The strict pseudopolyps may result from the host inflammatory response. Yeah, to three primary infections. Now we are going to the second infections by Antamoeba estrolytica. The other sites where trophocytes migrate and produce lesions are the liver, lungs, brain, skin, spleen, etc. Now the organism may invade the liver, lungs, and brain where it produces abscesses that result in the liver dysfunction, pneumonitis, and cephalitis, etc. Kaise jata hai? During the primary infection, when it is in mucosa and it is in tissue, so some of the, these amoeba may penetrate the damaged or the broken blood vessels in the submucosa. And due 
through these broken blood vessels and via the portal vessels, the amoeba may reach the liver where, where they are trapped in the liver tissue. And amoeba, wherever they settle, they again produce toxins and enzymes which destroy the adjacent tissue. The same case, the same process occurs in the liver. They liberate the cytolytic enzymes and produce an abscess. And this condition is not termed as hepatic amoebiasis or amoebic abscess of the liver. Because in mucosa mein abscesses form hui, blood vessels padi hui thi, blood vessels bhi damaged hui thi, damaged blood vessels who enter hui blood flow mein through portal vessels, kyunke portal vessels blood le jati intestine se liver ko, so portal vessels ke through, they reach the liver, liver mein pahunch ke, jahan bhi wo strap hote hain, settle hote hain, again they produce cytolytic enzymes, they multiply by binary fusion, they produce cytolytic enzymes and they cause ultimately an abscess formation. And this condition is termed as hepatic or amoebic liver abscess. Then liver se bhi agar kuch amoebia as kar ke aate hain, a picture liver khai, on the left side in the lower the brownish brownish abscess of this to liver to via the right heart through the pulmonary vessels they may reach the lungs and they produce similar kind of lesions as they have produced in the liver, pulmonary abscesses bana dete hain. Thir, agar lungs se bhi escape karte hain, via the systemic circulation, the parasites may reach the brain and they may produce similar kind of infections in the brain. Then, Granulomatous ulcerations are in the areas adjust, adjoining the visceral lesions. Now, if the liver has an abscess in the liver, then the abscess in the liver is on the top of the skin. It may ulcerate. The infection the genital tract, if they are already present, tractal vaginal fistulas, these amoebae may travel through these fistulas and reach the bladder to produce cystitis and vaginitis, respectively. Diagnosis in the laboratory, the infection is confirmed by finding prophocytes containing RBCs may be seen moving by prepared within 15 minutes of the passage of stools or the stools which are preserved in the whole or much or late iodine formally. Then aspirates of liver abscess from the edge of the abscess may also reveal the parasites or the trophozyte form of the parasite. Okay. In the laboratory, first of all, you prepare stool, saline and iodine preparation stool. In our iodine preparations, gas prepare. Yeah. 
और फिर किसी एप्लीकेट स्टूल में से थोड़ा सा स्टूल उठाते हैं स्पेशली फ्रॉम द एरिया वेयर लॉट ऑफ म्यूकस इज प्रेजेंट देन यू मिक्स दिस स्टूल विद the drop of slime on the slide and and then cover the drop with a cover slip and you are examine, examine it like so mirror ko thin hona chahiye hona chahiye tar subjects aur jo already isi tarah prepare karte hain magar saline ke jaise aap ek drop ल्यूगॉल्स आयोडीन का डालते हैं ना इन द क्रॉनिक स्टेज ऑफ द डिजीज इम मेच्योर एंड मेच्योर सिस्ट में बी सीन दिसन एंड आयोडीन प्रेपरेशन ऑफ स्टूल एंडमीबिकट का इन्फेक्शन इज डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम बेसिलरी डायसेंट्री बाय द लैक ऑफ हाई फीवर एंड एबसेंस ऑफ ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस डायसेंट्री में फीवर भी होगा और ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस भी होगा मगर में फीवर भी नहीं होता और ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस भी नहीं होता देन यू कैन परफॉर्म हिस्टोलॉजी हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी ऑफ दिस स्लाइड टिश्यू फ्रॉम दिस लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन स्लाइड्स टू कैन एग्जामिन अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप which may reveal the flask shaped ulcer as you can see in the picture below niche sare wo bana hua hai aur upar se opening hai then you can culture the amoeba in dobels biphasic and cleveland colliers medias in se bhi aap usko diagnose kar sakte hain कल्चर कर सकते हैं अमीबा को ये दो मीडियाज हैं और उन पे अमीबा ग्रो करता है देन सेरोलॉजिकल टैक्स कंटेन्स द लेटेक्स द ग्लूटिनेशन टैक्स द एलाइजा टैक्स ट्रीटमेंट में मेट्रोनेटाजोल इज द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस अब इसको हरेडली एंटमीबा को लाई को भी साथ कर लेते हैं क्योंकि इनका मामूली डिफरेंस है जोग्राफिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वर्ल्ड वाइड से हैबिटेट का डिफरेंस है दैट इट इज ओनली सीन इन द ल्यूमन ऑफ द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन ऑफ मैन बोथ द सिस्टिक एंड द प्रोफोजाइट फॉर्म द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन ऑफ मैन ये इन्वेड नहीं करती म्यूकोजा को मॉर्फोलॉजी में है the ectoplasm and the pack endoplasm which pack containing bacterial substances but never rbcs and the nucleus has an centric karyosome with pores chromatin mature cyst in kale coli contains eight nuclei as compared with the four of the amoeba stolitica or chromatin do present hongi उनके एजेस प्लेटेड हुए राउंड नहीं होंगे लाइक ड्यूरिंग एक्सेस्टेशन अमीबा डज नॉट अंडर गो एनी मेडिकेशन ऑन द कंट्रेरी द ओरिजिनल एट न्यूक्लियर मे बी डिविनिश बाय एज मैनी एज फोर दे लिव एज हार्मलेस कुमेंसेस एंड मेथड्स ऑफ डायग्नोसिस आर सेम एज दैट फॉर एंटमीबा थैंक यू वेरी